चैप्टर टू इन साइड अवर अर्थ द अर्थ अवर होम लैंड इज अ डायनेमिक प्लान इट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली अंडरगोज चेंजेस इन साइड एंड आउट साइड हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड वॉट लाइज इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ वॉट इज द अर्थ मेड अप ऑफ इंटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ जस्ट लाइक एन अनियन द अर्थ इज मेड अप ऑफ सेवरल कॉन्सेंट्रिक layers with one inside another the uppermost layer over the earth's surface is called the crust it is the thinnest of all the layers it is about 35 km on the continental masses and only 5 km on the ocean and flows the main mineral constituents of the continental mass are silica and alumina it is thus called sial c silica and al aluminium the oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium it is therefore called sima c silica and ma magnesium just beneath the crust it is the mantle which extends up to a depth of 29 km it is just below the crust do you know the crust forms only 1% of the volume of the earth 84% consists of the mantle and 15% make the core the radius of the earth is 6371 km the innermost layer is the core with a radius of about 3500 km it is mainly made up of nickel and iron and is called knife ni nickel and fe ferrous ie iron the that is the central core has very high temperature and pressure rocks and minerals the earth's crust is made up of various types of rocks any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth's crust is called a rock rocks can be of different color size and texture there are three major types of rocks igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks when the molten magma cools it becomes solid rocks thus formed are called igneous rocks they are also called primary rocks there are two types of igneous rocks intrusive rocks and extrusive rocks world origin igneous latin word ignis meaning fire sedimentary latin word sedimentum mean meaning settle down metamorphic greek word metamorphose metamorphose meaning change of form can you imagine lava coming out from the volcanoes lava is actually fiery red molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth on its surface when this molten lava comes on the earth's surface it rapidly cools down and becomes solid rocks formed in such a way on the crust are called extrusive igneous rocks they have a very fine grained structure for example basalt the deccan plateau is made up of basalt rocks sometimes the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth's crust solid rocks so formed are called intrusive igneous rocks since they cool down slowly they form large grains granite is an example of such a rock grinding stones used to prepare paste or powder of spices and grains are made up of granite glossary fossils the remain of the dead plants and animals trapped in the layers of rocks are called fossils rocks roll down crack and hit each other and are broken down in small fragments these smaller particles are called sediments these sediments are transported and deposited by wind water etc these loose sediments are compressed and hardened 
to form layers of rocks these types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks for example sandstone is made from grains of sand these rocks may also contain fossils of plants animals and other microorganisms that once lived on them igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rock under great heat and pressure figure 2.3 for example clay changes changes into slate and limestone into marble rocks are very useful to us the hard rocks are used for making roads houses and buildings you use stones in many games for example seven stones pit two hop scotch stapu kit kit five stones gitti find out some more such games by asking your grandparents parents neighbors and etc let's do collect some pictures collect pictures of some monuments and find out which are the rocks used to build them two pictures have been collected for you the red fort is made up of red sandstone the taj mahal is made up of white marble you will be surprised to know that one type of rock changes into another type of an another type under certain conditions in a cyclic manner this process of tran- transformation of the rocks form one to another is known as the rock cycle you have already learned that when the molten magma cools it solidifies to become igneous rock these igneous rocks are broken down into small particles that are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks when the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they change into metamorphic rock the metamorphic rocks which are still under great heat and pressure melt down to form molten magma this molten magma again cool down and solidify into igneous rocks figure 4.2 magma can change into igneous rock or igneous rock can change into magma then igneous rock can change into sediments and sediments into sedimentary rock or sedimentary rock in sediments then sedimentary rock can change into metamorphic and again metamorphic goes to magma or sedimentary rock can also go to directly magma then it is the rock cycle let's do what are the minerals found in your state collect some samples to show in your class rocks are made up of different minerals minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition Minerals are very important to human kind some are used as fuels for example coal natural gas and petroleum they are also used in industries iron aluminum gold uranium etc in medicine in fertilizers etc thank you